Team USA, welcome to our closing event for the Mission X Challenge 2016. I'm Scott. I'm Lori. We're going to take a behind the scenes tour of JSC just for you, places that you need your badge to go see. You ready to have some fun? Woohoo! Hey guys, our first stop here is called Rocket Park. This is a very special part of Johnson Space Center. We're with Astro Charlie. Come check out what's in our garage. Come on. So you know how Team USA, you worked hard to get Astro Charlie all the way to the moon? Well, check this out. This rocket was designed to send people all the way to the moon. Lori, how big is this thing? When the rocket was ready for launch, it stood taller than the Statue of Liberty. And when it was fully fueled, it weighed more than 400 elephants. My goodness. So which part was designed to come back to Earth? Of the entire rocket, the only thing that came back was the part that had the astronauts. And it's that little triangular capsule at the top that looks like a toasted marshmallow. What a ride that must have been. Hey guys, here at Johnson Space Center, they number the buildings. So this is number 30. It's also called the Mission Control Center. It's some cool stuff. Yeah, come on, let's go see where they control the space station. Come on with us. Hey guys, this is not a new building. Mission Control has been here since the Apollo mission, back when there's black and white TV. These are public phones. They didn't have cell phones back then. Let's check out what's inside a public phone booth. Oh. Hey, excuse me, I'm oh. on a call. Sorry, we'll come back later. Hey guys, so we're inside the Mission Control Center. Those silver doors are pretty powerful. Hey Lori, you used to work here for years. What goes on in there? I did. It's really neat. So just like in Mission X, people around the world have to work together to make the mission a success. And every person in the control room has a different responsibility to make the space station a success. You saw the rocket that took humans to the moon. Now you get to see the control center where we controlled the mission to go to the moon. This is the Apollo control room. And just like the space station control room, it has different positions where people are responsible for a different part of the spacecraft and a different part of the mission. This place is incredibly large, Lori. So this is an entire replica of the, the part of the space station that people actually live in, is that correct? That's correct. So the gray pieces that you see, the modules, are the U.S. modules, and the white, and also the, uh, the Canadian and the European. The white modules that are a little bit different shape are the Russian modules, and they're different sizes and shapes because of the vehicles they had to launch on. <laughs> You know, it's not only humans that work at Johnson Space Center. We've got some cows here. Lori, what are these doing? These are our longhorns. And before NASA was NASA on this property, it was a cattle ranch. And so our longhorns are here to remind us of our heritage. That's pretty cool. And you know what? Nope. <coughs> Thank you. 
So this is the NBL? This is the NBL. Neutral buoyancy lab. Let's go inside and look at the big pool. Let's go see the pool. Again, they put their spacesuit on, they go underwater, and they practice their spacewalks. And you know how big this pool is? I don't. So 275 backyard pools can fill this pool. That's how big it is. Wow. So astronauts have to be scuba trained? They do. They got to be scuba certified to become an astronaut. So Laura, this is pretty incredible. The astronauts train underwater long enough that they can't get up to go to the bathroom, they wear diapers? <laughs> that's correct. That's, that's interesting, yeah. that's something neat. And that concludes our behind the scene tours of the NBL, the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory. And uh, let's go on to our, our last spot. Sounds good, we'll head back to Rocket Park. All right, thanks. Hey everybody, thank you for taking the tour of Johnson Space Center with us. We're so thankful that you train like an astronaut with us. Keep doing the hard work. And uh, Lori? Yeah, you know, now that the challenge is over, it doesn't mean that Mission X is over. So keep training like an astronaut. Go Team USA. Go Mission X. Woohoo!